candies welcome to that cotton candy hair and you guys are chilling with radar from that cotton candy hair now today is valentine's day and i just want to say happy valentine's day to all you guys out there and for those that got flowers and roses and all those gifts and for those of you that didn't get anything um guys like this is 2019 it's all about self-love Go to the shop, go buy yourself some roses, go buy yourself some chocolates and appreciate you. Now, that's not the purpose of this video. In this video, I'll be showing you guys my Valentine's Day. I hope you guys can see. My Valentine's Day inspired hair updo. So, let go. Don't know what to do with your hair until inspiration strikes. So guys, I braided my hair off camera just to save on some time and I am quickly going to moisturize my hair because I didn't want to style my hair while it was feeling dry. So I'm just using some water, some cream and some shea butter just to seal that moisture. And I did mention that this is a Valentine's Day inspired look. So I hope you guys enjoy. my hair in a puff the upper section and I'm gonna divide that section into two equal sections and I'm just pinning the other part away while I'm focusing on the first part giving it a light finger detangle I am gonna use a pin just to gather my hair while I twist the very ends of my hair because for this hair so I'll only be twisting the ends and not the entire section I'm repeating the process at the back, giving it a light finger detangle and then I'm going in with the pin just to keep my hair together while I retwist the very ends, or not retwist, but while I twist the very ends up of my hair. So now I'm going to use a pin to actually pin this down. So at this stage I wasn't actually sure how this was going to work. So I decided that the front part I would pin down facing forward. If that makes sense, if you guys understand. And at the back section I would pin it facing backwards at the very end. For the back section I will be repeating the process going in with some water first some cream and oops i actually got some of the cream on my hair on my top part and with some shea butter to make sure i seal in all of that moisture in my hair and i also need to focus on the hair on the nape of my neck and i am going in with the brush just to make sure that it's all smoothed down now i'm tying my hair with the hair tie and i'm not going in too tightly because i am a bit tender scalp and I will just repeat the same procedure as I did at the top. For the back section I did decide uh, to pin both sides facing upwards because I wanted it to look the same size as the upper part if that makes sense. So I'm pinning both sides up and I'm gonna go in with the pin at the back just to hide my hair tie that was showing and at this stage you can use more pins if you want to so I'm gonna use another pin because I actually want to make it look like the top part. final step it is actually optional you don't have to do it if you want to but it's just me adding a little bit of hair cling to complete the look
thank you so much for watching this video don't forget to comment like subscribe and catch us on our other social media platforms and guys don't forget we have an earring giveaway one lucky viewer one lucky subscriber can win five pairs of these earrings which i actually think it's quite amazing so do the right thing and i'll see you in the next video mm -hmm.